thesmartlocal.com. another episode of the part-timer our episode is going to be a bit more special because I'm going to be working at Chua Chukang Cemetery with my mentor Izzat on the part-timer we usually feature jobs that are really exciting fun and well-known but today we really want to shed light on a job that's a little bit more behind the scenes and on those who work quietly to help families through more vulnerable times I've never been to a cemetery for work and I have absolutely no idea what that entails so I want to be extremely extremely respectful. I do think I have a lot of questions and I am truly a student today so there's a little bit of nervousness. I'm gonna put myself through this challenge and see how it goes. What's the first thing that we're going to be doing today? Uh, we're going to do some trimming, mm. grass trimming and also before we start, we need to take pictures before and after. Okay. Uh, some of the family member, they don't have time to come and visit. The way we do is we take uh, four angles mm. so they can roughly know the surrounding uh, condition. Mm. We will observe the surrounding, any damages or whatever to like the, the to tiles. the ah, yeah. Uh, okay. So if nothing, then we also need to observe the grass. Mm. Uh, if there's uh, any snails, any insects, uh, we don't want to cut them. Oh. So usually what uh, what I do, I will just transfer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Balance a bit, like okay. like a bit. Uh, 45 degrees and then you just cut. But uh, don't worry if uneven, right? Like, okay, you see, you uneven. Yeah. You can oh, straighten make it even out. back. Okay. Uh. So I want to make it as flat as possible, yes. is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. How long have you been working at the cemetery for? Almost five years. Five years? When you first started out, did you find it difficult? Uh, yes. Mentally and physically, we need to be prepared. Mm. This kind of supernatural stuff, right? Mm. So we need to practice what we preach. Yeah. So how long does it take for you to trim the grass of one plot? I take time actually. Oh. Because every every grave I mm, treated as like my family members' grave. Wait, last one. Well, you really put your effort, ah? Huh? Cause you but say must. Very nice, ah. Huh? Put in the effort. For first timer. It's not very nice. even, huh? Doesn't matter even or not, keep it short, mm. tidy, it will, be, it will be okay. So after this, we just blow a bit. Okay, same thing. I'm going to yes. start from here. Yes. You can start to clean up the grave by plucking all those overgrown. The weeds. Yeah. Wow, a lot of weeds. When did you last clean this grave? One month ago. Wow, then in one month so many grow. Yeah, that's why uh, usually the family member will have that mentality whereby okay, uh, one month once, yeah. two months one will, will be fine. But then they, they need uh, thorough maintenance. Yeah. As you are doing this, yeah. you can hear the bird. Yeah. Very peaceful. Huh? Yeah, very peaceful. Well, not bad. Huh? Why? You really pluck out everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good, is it? Yeah. Wow. Do you know what it's called? I think it's a ghost spider. Ghost spider? Does this it? This one, if bite, yeah, it's quite painful. Okay. It looks huge. Eh? Wow, it's huge. Okay. You know why they bite? Straight up. No. Wild boar. Oh. Yeah. Then they, they chase the wild boar. Yeah, they chase the wild boar. <laughs> they look like they're all friends. Uh, why we need to use the rubber glove right? is mm. because there's chemical in the liquid in the water, yeah, to make the tie shiny. Yeah. Mm. Do a bit of scrub so the chemical will spread evenly. Yeah. Mm. So there's a way to clean the flooring. So we need to do it starting from the place that really gonna step again. Okay. So we just cook. It's like cook. mopping lah. Yeah, need, need a bit of skill. This is my secret I actually, I share with you. Okay. Uh, before sunset, right, I will find one location, open my my foldable chair, one table, then I just sit down there and look at the sunset. You can clearly see the star at night. Ah. Very nice. But scary la at night. No ah. No ah. I so-called like membership ready. Ah, <laughs> 
Everybody knows you. Yeah. Oh, very good. I can employ you really. Nice. Part-time job. <laughs> That's why you ask me, right? How do I feel when I clean? Yeah. Right? Or maintain the grief? Yeah. I always tell myself, eh, if I never clean properly, yeah, and I pass on, who gonna clean? For yeah. Me? Will they clean as sincere as me? Yeah. Uh, I question myself. We're down to my final task, and this is to erect a baby grave, yes. right? Actually, when we first came here, right, and I saw the graveyard, a cemetery, and I felt like my heart very heavy. It's different lah, like to see so many baby graves, but I guess that really is like a part of your job also lah. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we're gonna erect the grave here. Hmm. So usually we need to have this special tool to break the hollow block into two. Okay. We knock at the center of the bones. Wow. So you can try. I will try. Okay, then we flip uh. this. Uh, the bone itself. Okay, then we switch here. Oh. Okay, nice. oh no! No worries, first time. Oh no! Okay, never mind. So you okay. hit at the center. Ah. ah, so okay. So we place it around. But around this one it. cannot. Still can ah. Can can. Oh okay. Around it. Ah, so we we just will put it around. Okay. And this one also. Yep. Like I told you the size and uh, it's a bit different, smaller. Mm. So we need to cut to size. Okay. So this is uh, 30 by 30. So this is a uh, tile cutter. Yep. You need to be patient with this. Okay. Because it's not easy. Push that you go through very slow. Oh. Uh, and, and then go all the way? Go all the way. Yeah. Then you just tap. Harder. Yeah. Wow. I got two okay. tiles. Can you use? Yeah, can. Yes. Yeah. So now we need to mix cement. the cement. I pour for you, then Should you I mix. Help it? How heavy is this bag? 25 to 30 oh. kilo. Okay. More than half my weight. <laughs> so this is three scoops of cement. So now you need to add water. One third of this. One third. Yeah, uh, you just pour and okay. then you, you think it's okay enough, then you just stop. Okay. For me, I would like to hold uh, my master hand closer to, to the chancoon. Mm. So, next. I will rotate myself clockwise, anti-clockwise. Mm. Uh, so you can you can try. So you can just pour. Oh, everything? Uh, yeah, you pour on the stone itself here. Yeah. This side more. Okay, then you can move downwards. You need to erect until 4 inches. Okay. So this is 4 inches height. Okay. So uh, that is the NEA requirement. Uh. Okay. Uh, so you can use this here to level, level it. Mm. Uh. Last time when you first started, who teach you how to do it? I have a few mentors. Uh. Actually, I begged them to teach me. Uh. Oh, then they... Yeah, they did. They... They taught me uh, step by step. Different people, different way. They, mm. they, they will teach you, yeah. We can lay the tiles. Okay. At the end, here. Follow this one now. Yeah. And we follow this. To level it, you need to use the oil and net. Make it level. You can try. Okay. Basically, this is the process. Mm. So after the flooring, we will, we will erect uh, up the body. Mm. All that I will I will continue for okay. from there. Uh, as you can see, the sun it's is burning. Uh, yeah. So it's now twelve o'clock, right? Yeah, twelve o'clock. Okay. So Do we, we take a break now? Yeah, we need to take a break. Okay. Okay. Ken. Okay. Thank you.
just about wrapped up with my final task. I didn't manage to see through the entire process because Izzat wants to respect the family firstly and there are certain things that it's better for him to complete and do. It's been quite a day of learning and even though it was only a few steps, it already was quite tiring doing everything under the hot sun. Very appreciative of Izzat for his patience and his guidance throughout the entire morning. I I feel my heart is a little bit heavy but at the same time I know that this is an important job and it is something that requires well a lot of mental emotional perseverance and a lot of strength to view and accept death for what it is. Isaac really is here just kind of like getting things done for the families, prepping everything that's needed to ensure that people rest peacefully. He loves it so much, he's so passionate about what he does and I find that very inspiring. I find it just so amazing how he loves his job through and through. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of The Part-Timer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell and watch the other videos over there. See you next time. Bye.